Uh, informative. Growth. Family. I want to say growth. Stimulating. Hi, my name is Alicia Way. I am a current senior at Colchester High School, and for my senior project, I thought it would be cool to take a look at the history behind this pretty awesome place. Before Colchester High School was around, students were tuitioned to other school districts outside of Colchester, most popular being Burlington, followed by Essex. In 1972, Richard Grimley was hired by the Colchester School District to help plan and build the new school. Previously, Colchester had already purchased the land from George and Lydia Shepherd at $1,000 per acre. That made the total purchase around $124,000. Built to hold 900 students, the total cost came to approximately $3,754, this including land, landscaping, furniture, etc. However, a few things in the original plan didn't work out. The construction of a swimming pool was voted down due to the school's close proximity to the lake, and students were originally only going to be allowed to drive if they had to work after school, and this obviously did not hold true. Finally, the school opened September 1975, making the first graduating class the class of 1976. Lack of resources was kind of a problem with this project, so instead I went straight to the source. I first heard about the job from my high school football and wrestling coach. He had been at a wrestling tournament, still coaching. A couple of the officials were talking, and one of them happened to be the principal at Colchester High School at the time, Bob Burke and he needed a math teacher in the middle of the school year. Word of mouth got me here to start in February of 1978, and uh, I've been here since. I've been a math teacher here in this hallway for almost 40 years now. I've coached JV football for the last 10 years here. Prior to that, I coached at Essex, and, and 10 years ago there was an opening here that I was able to fill and, and start coaching here. I was teaching at, on Long Island at a private school, um, but my wife and I knew that we wanted to return to Vermont. And I saw that Colchester needed um, another, we're increasing their social studies department. So, um, and they hired me that summer. Uh, summer of 79, so 79, 80 was my first year teaching. John Willard, and I was here from the fall of 85 through 2010. Applied for the job as assistant principal back in the spring of 85. I got the job, so I was on my way. And I had just finished a degree, degree program in administration, so I started looking around. So I started as assistant principal, and I did that for two years. And then uh, in 87, I became principal. Felt like I was in a position that enabled me to do something school-wide, so that was nice. So I was a student at Colchester High School from 1986 to 1989. I got the job in October 1999. I was working for my dad, and I heard about the job probably in September. And I got the job in October 1999. I've been the field hockey coach for a couple years, volunteer as a green team advisor. I've been on the K-12 through curriculum planning team. They had a wellness day, so I used to be part of wellness planning. I try to do things to keep busy. I'm Grace Carroll and I'm a senior at Colchester High School. I'm in jazz band, CHS Cares, International Club, theater, variety night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, I'm Christian Labrie and I'm a junior. What am I doing? Oh my god, this is already going well. Hi, my name is Christian Labrie and I'm a senior. I'm in jazz band, chamber, uh, musicals and plays. I run cross country, I Nordic ski. My name is Renee Bria and I am a senior. I have always been in music and theater. Music has been great working with Ms. Toll and also seeing Mr. Peltier on the side even though I haven't done band. Theater has also been great, that's after school. Um, I do theater outside of school as well, but it's nice to do it with a big group of friends that you know. Yeah, I've done almost everything you could do in this, in, at one time or another in the school in teaching. I also coached 
until my last, no, coached right through. Coached uh, track and field for like 26 years and cross country running for 25 years and they overlapped in the middle there some. Well, when I first started, we were, we were sending under 50% of the students on to further education. And I didn't think Colchester was that different from South Burlington. And uh, they're sending like 70 plus percent of their kids. That, you know, it just seemed a little out of whack. So we, we, we raised the requirements, we added some uh, advanced placement classes. We, we found a way to make it more consistent across the, the teachers. So anyway, we ended up by, uh, in about five or six years, we were up to 70%. The other things that we worked on was kind of separating what, how we treated a senior on his or her way out from a freshman on his or her way in. And part of that discussion led to senior privileges. I tried to get all of the required courses done in the first couple of years, you know, be able to groom it a little bit towards your own interests. 